A Lejano, Gutak hopeful despite not making it to Pulse Asia Magic 12. Opposition senatorial candidates Gary Alejano and Samira Gutak under the Utso Diardso banner have remained hopeful despite not making it to the Magic 12 of the latest Pulse Asia pre-election survey. The Magdalo party list representative said he was somewhat puzzled that his awareness level did not change. Surveys are just our guide in order to test our strategy. But. It's somewhat puzzling to me that since the beginning, my awareness did not increase, 29 par and pairing in spite of all the campaigning, while a paring Nakakakulalisa akin, no one has known me, the former Marine officer said over ANC's head start on Tuesday. He nonetheless remained positive as his ranking continues to go up in the Magdala initiated survey, wherein he ranked 21st. In the February 24-28 Pulse survey, Alejano got 3% voter preference rate and got the 28-37th spot. Meanwhile, Mera Civic leader Gutak said in a statement that her slow rise in surveys means that Filipinos are becoming more aware of her platforms on peace, Mindanao development, and women and children empowerment. The peace advocate also said this means Otso Diretso's grassroots and people-centered approach is slowly bearing fruit and that more voters are now believing that we should care about pressing issues, that peace is better than violence, that we've got to fight for our territory in the West Philippine Sea, and that rape and sexist jokes should be condemned. Gudak got the 26th 34th spot in the survey and had 19% awareness and 4.4% voters preference rate. Elijano further said that more than being the anti dudert vote, he aims to awaken the people that they have to assert their rights, and politically engage in nation building. They have to understand what's happening to the country. Nation building, the responsibility of changing this country and upon your shoulders, he said. A. Legano also stressed that he would not always oppose the government, saying he supported some of the administration's legislative agenda like the salary increase of members of the armed forces of the Philippines, the national ID system, free tertiary education, free irrigation law, and the proposed 2019 budget. We're not doing this, opposing, just to attack the president personally. He's the one implementing the policies of this country and therefore we should, hold him accountable, Elijano said. <laughs>